All right, folks, so today we've got another quick how-to video, and today we're going to be taking another look at the virtual memory card. There was a question come up by a couple of folks who were asking whether it was possible to copy over the game saves from their physical memory cards to the virtual memory card. So I have to say that I've looked into this, and it is possible. It's a bit of a task, so bear with me, but we'll run through the process real quick. So starting off, the things that you'll need for this, obviously you'll need your regular memory card with your game saves on. You're also going to need an SD Gecko, and if you don't have one of these already and want to take a look at the setup for this, you can click the link in the top right hand corner and that will take you to a video showing you how to set the SD Gecko up, along with the GameCube memory card manager software. And you're also going to need an SD to SP2 adapter, and again if you don't have one of these, you can click this link in the top right hand corner, which will take you to a video showing you how to get that all set up. And the only other thing you need to make sure of is that you're running the latest version of Swiss and have the virtual memory card setting turned on. And again, if you've not got this set up, you can click this link in the top right hand corner and that'll take you to a video showing you how to do all of that. So once you've got all that set up, we're going to head over to the GameCube and we're going to plug your physical memory card into memory card slot A and the SD Gecko into memory card slot B. And then we're going to fire up the GameCube Memory Card Manager real quick. Like I say, I do have a video on this already, so we're not going to go too in-depth into it. But what we're going to do is just hit B here, since the SD Gecko is in slot B. And then on the mode screen, we're going to hold down the L trigger and hit Y for a RAW backup. So what that's going to do is make a .raw file from the contents of your memory card on the SD card, which is in the SD Gecko. So once that's done processing, we're going to take the SD card out of the SD Gecko and out of your SD to SP2 adapter and plug them into the computer. So here we are over on the computer and there's a couple of things we need to do here before we can transfer the files. So the way we're actually going to do this is by using the Dolphin emulator. So head over to the dolphinmu.org site and then click on the download tab right at the top here. And then this will bring up all the different builds. Now, since I'm only going to be using this to transfer some files, rather than do the beta versions, I actually went with the latest stable version, which in this case is 5.0. So click the download button here. And then once that's done downloading, head to your downloads folder. And you should see the dolphin.exe file. So you can move that over to your desktop. And then just double click to install. And obviously it will just ask you where you want to install the files. So we'll run through that real quick. And then as soon as that's done installing, we're actually going to run that program. So here you'll see the main Dolphin emulator screen. What we're going to do is head over to the Tools tab right here. Click on that and then select Memory Card Manager. So on this screen you can see there's two memory cards, memory card A and B. So what we're going to do is load the virtual memory card which was on your SD card on your SD to SP2 adapter in your GameCube as memory card A. So to do that we're going to hit Browse. Then, like I said, we're going to go to the SD card, which is normally in your SD to SP2 adapter. And we're going to find the folder named Swiss Patches. Open that folder and scroll all the way down. And you'll see six different memory cards. So there's actually two different memory cards for each region, card A and card B. So what you need to do is select the card for the region that your game is. So in this case, I'm going to use memory card A USA .raw. So double click on that file to open. And then you'll see that the contents of the virtual memory card have populated under memory card A. Next, what we're going to do is load the .raw file, which we just created in the GameCube memory card manager. So this will be an exact replica of your physical memory card, just in virtual form. So to do that, just click on browse for memory card B. 
and then navigate to the SD card which was in your SD Gecko. You should see a folder called MC Backup. And then within that, you'll see a .raw file. And that will be the image of your physical memory card. So again, just double click on that to load it. And you'll see the contents of that memory card show up in memory card B. Now my memory card only has one game on it and that's Auto Model Easter. So what I'm gonna do is take that game save and I'm gonna copy that over to memory card A. So to do that, just select the file and then click copy. And you'll see that the Auto Model Easter save file is now copied over to memory card A. So now the file's finished copying over, what we're gonna do is head back over to the GameCube Take the SD card which goes into your SD to SP2 adapter and put that back in your system and we should be ready to go. So here we are back in the GameCube on the GC Loader main screen. I've taken out the physical memory card in slot A and the SD Gecko has also been removed so there's nothing in the memory card slots. So if we boot Auto Modelista right now, the game save should be on the virtual memory card in the SD to SP2 and we should be able to start the game as if the physical memory card was still in the slot A. So we'll boot the game real fast. And there it goes, it says system file has been loaded. So that was a complete success. So that's the process of how to copy saved games from your physical GameCube memory card over to the virtual memory card within Swiss. I've actually had a lot of fun putting this video together and trying to figure this out. It wasn't the easiest thing in the world, I have to admit, but I'm really glad I got it working. I'm sure that they'll implement something in the future that's a little bit more streamlined or probably within Swiss itself that you can do this, but for now I'm pretty happy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. It's really helping the channel grow. And don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.